Cancer. So a message I was getting for you guys was uh, finding the courage to do something, finding the courage to change something. And I do feel like this has to do, um, for some of you, different situations, love, work, even home life, whatever it may be for you. I do want to give a quick thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Also to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel. The links to both of those will be down below. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Here's one of the messages for cancer. the messages for cancer they keep telling me finally finally something's happening um for you okay ten of wands energy the knight of swords and the nine of pentacles so yeah definitely finally something's happening for you i do feel like some sort of burden in your life there's going to be some sort of solution to help that so of course if this is financial burdens nine of pentacles i see you getting um what you need in order to take care of this it could have to do with debt um anything school loans just bills whatever it is i see um like almost like a financial blessing or i see something happening to where the situation works itself out just like at the perfect time like i don't know if you guys have experienced something like that to where you're like so worried about something and then shit just works out like last minute so i feel like something like that is going to happen for you guys knight of swords energy there could be some information coming your way we do have the high priestess here so it makes me feel like you have um, a hunch about something. It could be about someone in your life. Yep. Seven of Swords energy. You have a hunch that someone is not honest. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing. Um, just overall kind of a dishonest type of energy. Yeah, you already know this about someone. And I almost feel for some of you, this is like, this could be someone that like you're dealing with personally, personally but I almost feel this could be um, someone that a loved one is dealing with. And you're like, mm, I know this person's wrong. I know this person um is not right for you and you're absolutely right and i almost feel like not to be dark but i almost feel that um somebody could be dealing with a situation of like abuse or something pretty serious like that so do know if that is your message that you are right and <clears throat> to take whatever action that you feel necessary because i am picking up on that as well we do have the higher font here so yeah it could be someone's in a bad marriage whether this is you or somebody that you care about um I really feel that somebody's very dependent on someone else and this could be kind of where like just a whole cycle, a whole toxic situation is going on. So we do have the Wheel of Fortune here in the Justice cards. So I do feel as far as this situation, there is a lot of hope in there and I do feel like um, something's going to happen. Something needs to happen. I almost feel like the universe is going to intervene a little bit um, about this. I do feel that other people as well are going to see this person's true colors or just like the the light's gonna come out or should the shit that's hidden in the dark is going to come to light for sure so i do feel like the situation is not going to last much longer um but yeah you're right about it i feel like you're you are already intuitively on it and i almost feel that you've been on it right from the very beginning like yeah so you're right just know that why is the ten of wands energy here ten of wands this is burdens um uh, it almost it's kind of like a stressful energy but like i said i do feel like there's going to be some sort of solution coming in for you to take off some of these burdens we do have these six of pentacles so yeah you're you're going to be getting help with something um whether this is financially or this is you know dealing with some personal shit whatever it is i do see you finding the help that you need and finding the answers that you need as well what is the knight of swords energy here okay so we have the lovers and the chariot card so yeah information about a love option now, of course you could be dealing with another cancer i'm also getting gemini here as well but yeah somebody wants to move forward with you somebody really does care about you a great deal also in this deck specifically uh this lovers card also talks or speaks about self-love as well so it is very important to focus on yourself pamper yourself even if it just means taking a long bath or doing what you need to do do pay attention um to your own energy and don't give your energy away like if that makes sense like don't put yourself first basically like not only right now but always but be sure that you are taking care of yourself hydrating and just things like that i just feel like it's just simple things like that will help your energy and make you feel a lot better also doing things that make you feel happy and accomplished is going to help you as well for those of you that have been feeling just a little low or just like not as your best 
at this time. So why is the nine of coins here? So you guys will be dealing with the earth sign. Yeah, uh, devil energy. So I will say for some of you that are in this situation, somebody is dependent on you. They use you. I'll, I'll just say it. Um, of course, if that is not your message, don't take it. That might only be for like one or two people. Um, but yeah, this person does depend on you in some sort of way. Or of course, this could be vice versa. But devil energy, it's usually, it, it's, it's dependency. It's, I don't, I don't know why they're telling me selfishness. I almost feel like this person that maybe you're dealing with or we're dealing with is like they're, it's just selfish, it seems like. Like this, yeah. King of Swords energy. Some of you guys can be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I do feel like this person, I almost want to say a distraction for you like an obstacle for you it's like this person creates stress or creates obstacles for you like for no reason at all king of swords energy if this is advice the advice is to cut this person off and of course um if this is someone you have been dealing with it's not going to be easy but i do feel like advice is to once and for all and i feel like this is a situation that you have been dealing with for a minute this person's got to go uh strong capricorn energy here aquarius energy but whoever this person is I definitely feel it's time to let them go because this dependency is not going to stop with them. Why is the high priestess energy here? I also feel about a certain situation. If you, if like something recent, it feels very recent. Um, if you're like, okay, is this person being honest to me? Did this person lie to me about that? They did. So yeah, I will try to get deeper and to get, I just, the seven of swords keeps showing itself to me this is a red flag right here right here this is a red flag well th i do not feel like this is a new person but for some of you if it is if you are already like i don't trust this fucking person listen to that energy because they they're not trustworthy and for those of you that have been dealing with this for a while this devil energy here um they're not going to change like they're not going to change for you they're not going to change for the self this person's not going to change so i do feel like that could be why the advice right now is once and for all let this let this energy go okay clarifying the seven of swords we do have the page of wands and the hanged man so yeah this person like they i don't know why they're telling me i mean i guess they they stop your growth a little bit i mean of course um we it's our fault as well we allow this to happen but this person is a huge blockage in your life huge like the page of wands energy you got good energy coming your way have good opportunity you have talents you have skills and it's like this person is just keeping you stagnant so do keep that in mind when you are dealing with this person or if you are still dealing with this person that they do keep you stagnant okay we do have the queen of cups energy clarifying the higher font so yeah, this is just kind of saying to me, right now is the time to put all of your focus, your dedication, your energy, your drive, your motivation, everything into yourself. Do not give to, I mean, of course, it's good to like be helpful and all of that, but do not give to the wrong people. And this, I mean, I am talking about this person here, for those of you that are dealing with that. Um, do not give to the wrong people right now, because I really feel that going into the new year and all of that, things are going to start moving really fast. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe it just seems like the the world's just moving faster. Comment down below if you feel the same way. But um, shit's going to start moving really fast. Opportunities are going to come and go and come and go and come and go. You got to, this person's got to go. You're going to miss it all. Like, that's just what they're showing you here. You're going to miss it all if you continue to put your energy into this situation. What is the queen of coins here? Some of you guys who are dealing with an earth sign, Toast Virgo Capricorn. Why is the queen of coins energy here? Okay, nine of pentacles. So, I don't know. It's a good... I almost feel like this person... It's like they suck your energy to feel better about themselves. The Nine of Pentacles represents confidence. And the fact that it came out twice here, the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil, this person feels confident when they're with you. And I feel like that's why they're so dependent on you because without you, they don't feel as confident for some reason, if that makes sense. Why is the Wheel of Fortune energy here? Okay, we do have the 10. And like, of course that doesn't sound bad. Like it is good to like have people you know, feel confident around you and all of that. But like, I almost feel like it's to a point to where they don't feel confident without you. Like they need you and they need to keep you here when you could be like rising above and thriving and all of this shit. So like, 
it's not bad to a certain extent, but I feel like this has gotten to an unhealthy level. So we do have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups energy. Definitely more options coming your way, especially clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. There are new opportunities coming in for you. And I do feel like this has to do with love, career, um, just situations in life. Just opportunities are coming in for you. And it's very important for you not to miss them because Ten of Cups, this is what you want. Ten of Cups is overall happiness, satisfaction, um, stability all around. Why is justice here? Justice is like karma. I definitely feel this, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, okay, so I will say this, um, this person that you're dealing with here, Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, this earth sign, um, they're going to get their karma, and I do feel like advice is to leave now because you do not want to be a part of that. I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> like, it, it could be a whole bunch of shit, but you do not want to be a part of it when it does, so I do feel like this is a warning for you to get out of that situation. Of course, um, if you are in a perfect loving relationship, disregard this whole reading. But if this resonated with you, this is a fucking warning. This is a red flag. If you wanted a sign, this is it. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Also do go check out my lashes at jayslashes.com. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me. They do go fast, so do place your order soon.